I'm Jenna Glassburner, and I'm a senior at Gretna High School. We are here! And I am doing a poem called, I Am Not From Here. Poems about Nebraska are always so picturesque, you know. The golden waves of corn, the dappled light in the crisp bite of autumn, the cinnamon atmosphere, the miles of free earth that extend outwards in every direction for as far as the eye can see. You know, art. So when they say, we're moving to Nebraska, you're going to love it there, that it's always beautiful in Nebraska, that you're going to be living just a couple minutes outside the city, that you're going to have so much fun. It's an exclamation and they win me over with talk of adventure. But what I got was not what I was told to expect. It's always beautiful in Nebraska, they said. Everything's Nebraska nice. Nice like the weather, there are two seasons, winter and road construction. Even when the roads are clear, they're never clear. Or maybe they meant the view, you know, the, the paper flat prairie or the gently sloped prairie that pretends to be hills and the corn, God is everywhere. I mean, I don't judge, but does that really do it for some people? And then while you've got the people that are saying that they're country born and bred, you've also got the people who are calling themselves city slickers. Because Omaha is a city, they said, Omaha, 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 like a prayer, like will save them. It's a shrine to small towns across America who think the height of culture and diversity can be encapsulated in 434,000 people. It can't be, but try telling that to some Nebraskans. It's the intersection of old country and industrial innovation where the only lights are the neons of the road and the logos on additions that try so hard to transfuse life into worn out streets. A million shuffling, tired footsteps sound like their prayers, Omaha, Omaha, Omaha. It crosses their lips like a benediction, the best blessing they can offer, Omaha, Omaha, Omaha. The city, they told me. This skyscraping architecture, the nearest cornfield just around the corner, the city, they told me I've seen cities I used to live in one. Cities are glamorous, full of lights and noise and Broadway shows and exotic food. This isn't a city I recognize. This is 30 shades of the same pattern repeated over and over like songs on radio wavelengths. This is a double stacked version of a strip mall. They denied the truth when I moved here by disguising it with lies like no Nebraskans don't drive tractors to school, that's silly. Or no, not all Nebraskans farm. Or no, there's going to be a lot of fun stuff to do here. Fun? I fill my life with the emptiness of planes and live vicariously through news of other cities. When I say that I'm leaving Nebraska, they smile as they tell me that my opinions are immature and lack perspective, that I'm basically defective, and after hearing that for 12 years, I'm starting to wonder if they're right. But I wasn't born in your soil, I didn't grow with your corn. Red is my least favorite color, so here is my contribution to the poetry of Nebraska. Call it a parting gift, if you will. Spend your cinnamon sunsets on someone who cares.